Hi, welcome back to the channel. I'm laying on the ground again, and you know what that means. We're gonna talk about one of my favorite things, garlic. So I wanted to make a little follow-up video uh, to one of the videos I made back in May, I think it was. And it, it uh, generated a little bit of interest and some discussion. Uh, it was about how I uh, basically uh, dig around the bulbs of the garlic in order to get them to grow big. And some people say it works, some people say it doesn't. It works for me with the type of soil I've got here. Uh, but I kind of wanted to do something a little bit different this year, and I'm going to show you. Hi, Walter. That's Walter. He's the guy that follows me around all the time. So the reason we're doing this today is uh, it's a nice balmy day here in uh, the second week of November. Kind of unusual for this time of year in this part of the world. I think it's like 60 degrees out. And um, we have some pretty nasty weather headed for us this weekend. They're talking highs in the 30s, lows in the teens, rain, wind, nasty weather. And there's a good chance that the ground is going to be frozen in a week from now. So uh, I have had really good success over the years planting garlic in the fall instead of in the spring. I don't know why I can't get it to grow right when I try to plant it in the spring. Uh, it's a cold weather crop, so I think maybe it just it likes cooler weather. Uh, I think I explained in that other video that there's times when I come out in March, middle of March, and if you've had a few nice days, sometimes you've got garlic poking out through the snow. So uh, probably four or five years ago, I started putting them in the ground in the fall, like right before the ground freezes. And I've had pretty good luck with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel all my, pull all my, bulb, my bulbs apart and get the cloves ready to plant. properly do this, I'm going to have to get off the ground. Yeah, hi, kitty. Oh, getting too old for this crap. All right. So this is what I'm dealing with. Uh, this is my raised bed that I built oh, a couple years ago. And uh, I thought instead of putting the garlic over in the garden and doing the whole trenching thing around the bulbs, maybe I plant it here in the in this loose soil in the uh, the raised bed and what I've got here is uh, it's about half dirt and half a uh, piece of wood uh, stuff off the floor of the barn and the chicken coop and stuff but it's been marinating out in the, the weather for about a year so I don't think it's gonna cause me any problems yeah yeah hey kitty so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my bucket of garlic from this year that I'm saving and I'm gonna break it up and uh, break the cloves up and plant the cloves. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select for the largest bulbs, which there's actually not a lot in here that are very big. We used a bunch of them up in the kitchen this year. Mm -hmm. Probably that one, that one, I think, maybe. Mm, that one's not bad. That one looks pretty good. If it's still any good, it looks a little dried out. I don't know. Yeah, it smells like it's okay. I've got two, four, six, eight bulbs, something like that. I think this will probably work. just break them apart just like you do in the kitchen. Oh. Or not. Some of them are a little dried out, but that's okay. So I select for the biggest bulbs because I I think maybe they'll uh, have the, the genes for the biggest bulbs, maybe. I don't know. It's the way I've always done it. I don't know if it makes any difference or not, but it makes me feel good doing it. 
Now, as I mentioned in one of my other videos, this is a garlic variety. I believe it's called Chesnick. And I'm told that it comes from the Republic of Georgia. Not the state of Georgia, the Republic of Georgia. If you're from the Republic of Georgia, drop me a comment. Let me know if I'm right or not. Chesnick. That's what I read, that it was from Georgia. In the unlikely event, I've got somebody watching this from the Republic of Georgia. Yeah, these aren't looking the greatest, but I think the cloves themselves are fine. Looks that way. Ooh, boy, that's a big one. Look at the size of that guy. That's a nice one. I don't know. What do you think? Bigger cloves make bigger bulbs when they grow? I don't know. I guess you're selecting for genes or something like that, right? So while it's tempting to use the great big cloves for kitchen duty, uh, I hold them back for planting in the hopes that I end up with bigger, yeah, you know. Hey, Walter. How you doing, buddy? You gonna help? No, oh, yeah, okay. All right, here's all my cloves. And I'm going to just unceremoniously put them down in here. You put the, uh, uh, the root side down And I don't really have a... Boy, that's a nice one. I don't really have a set method for how I'm gonna do this. I fully expect the, uh, you know, freezing and thawing, uh, thawing cycles to push some of this stuff up out of the dirt. And at some point you'll have to push them back down. That's pretty normal. Yeah, I do that even when I don't, when I put them in the, uh, I do that even when I put them in the, in the, gr uh, the ground, in the garden. Now I'm gonna have them in the, the box here and we'll just kind of see oh I think I did that one upside down so we'll put them in the box here this year and see how this goes I'm still assuming that the freezing and thawing is gonna eject them out of the ground a little bit that's okay we can come back in the spring and push them down before they start growing So there we have it, and obviously you can't see anything because it's all pretty much buried, pretty much. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, 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 all right. I'm not all that concerned about it because I'm sure they're gonna eject out of the ground a little bit before they start sprouting. All right, well, so I know even in the mulch here, you can see the wood chips and stuff that was part of the chicken coop bedding. And anybody that has ever used chicken coop bedding as fertilizer knows that it's too hot straight out of the coop. This stuff has been sitting in the pile for the better part of a year. Uh, and then in here, all through the summer after that, uh, I'd say this stuff's a year old at least. And by next spring, it'll be a year and a half. That's plenty of time for it to uh, mellow out a little bit, so to speak. So uh, the problem with chicken coop bedding is it's 
full of ammonia and it's pretty hot stuff it just plants don't like it it'll it'll kill plants so uh we'll see how it works uh i'm sure it'll be fine but i've never done this before i'm sure there's people all over the place that plant their garlic in uh, raised beds so I, I don't think i'm breaking new ground here but it is something new for me i'm experimenting with so i guess if you want to find out if it works you're gonna have to subscribe or just come back next spring you know whatever so that's all i got for you thanks for stopping by see ya